Hey guys, we're back for the third and final part of this three-part series for the uh, pomade. Uh, so basically, I want to go over a couple things with you guys. Um, first of all, I know, again, I'll repeat it again, video one, boring, but it's essential because without those main oils blended correctly, the whole thing's not going to work. Um, any questions, by the way, regarding the exact ingredients, you can post them below. Uh, I feel like I went over them pretty well. Um, but if you have any questions, post them below. Um, as usual, of course, I'd, I'd like it if you subscribed and liked this video. So I just want to go over a couple things here. The price of this pomade for like a four ounce size is going to cost you less than like a dollar fifty. Whereas if you were to buy this in a store for the big name brands, uh, it goes for like thirteen dollars upward. Um, I haven't, I haven't saw one a brand that I never even recognized for like twenty something dollars. So there's a huge savings. Like yes, you'll initially put a little bit of money out because you got to buy this stuff in bulk. Um, but in the end, you're going to save a fortune. Uh, the other thing is these prices that I'm saying less than a dollar fifty is based off of local inventory and not buying in huge bulk. If you bought this in huge bulk or if you bought this overseas, you'd probably save even more. You'd probably bring it way below a dollar. Um, so, but even at a dollar fifty or below, a little below a dollar fifty, that's still huge savings. Uh, a couple other things. This pomade is based off of Cedars 25, which is, if you look at your labels for your brands that you've been using, look at the labels. Odds are they use Cedars 25 as like the second or third ingredient. Cedars 25 is in all the big companies' main pomades, so... This is a little different than the other videos. Some of the other videos out there I've seen use like Shia butter and uh, a lot of oils. Uh, this is more water-based. This is a lot easier to come out of your hair. And again, there's a reason why these big companies became so big. It's easier to use. Uh, it's just a superior product. People enjoy this type of pomade better. Um, so I'll get right into it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed these three videos. Uh, again, each video is just as important as the other, so watch them all. And again, thanks for watching. Okay guys, here in part three of the video series, we are starting to cook it. Um, I've got the stove, I've got it on small burner, and I've got it on seven and a half out of ten on the uh, stove setting. Um, I like to keep it pretty hot. Um, with this thin glass, it does heat up quickly and nicely. I like it better than the other glass, like I told you before. Um, I do keep the door open to my left and to my right. I keep a window open, and I'm also about to turn on a fan. I like to keep it ventilated. Um, you don't want this the fumes from this settling in one room. Try to ventilate your room. Try to get it outside as best you can. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys in a little bit what it looks like once it's starting to really cook and get boiling here. Um, this should take about 12 minutes, okay? So we'll check back in in a little bit. We're about four minutes in here. Four or five minutes in. Okay guys, so we got to that point, um, I took it, off the, took it off the stove right now, off the burner. What you want to do is keep mixing it, you want to leave it in that water though so it stays warm, um, and keep mixing it so it doesn't congeal on you. Um, once this cools down, you want to wait a little bit, you want it to be cooler. If you have a, if you have a uh, thermometer, you'll sure you want to add your, your uh, preservative, DMDM Hydantoin. I already have it pre-measured out here, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. Not yet, but I'm going to wait till it cools down, and I'm going to add that and keep mixing it the whole time. Okay, I'm just going to put the camera down while I do all this, because I might need both hands here, because I need to keep stirring it and pouring this stuff in at the same time. Okay, so I'll, I'll check back in just a minute. Okay, guys, so we've added it, we've mixed it in now. We let it kind of blend into the, into the, we kept it in the water to allow it to blend in together. What I like to do now is let it sit out for just like 30 seconds, not even, 20 seconds, just so that the top forms a layer so I don't have the bubbles when I pour it into here. 
you're wondering what those blobs are that's already in there, that's just from my knife. I just, uh, it was already pre-made and it was starting to harden on the knife, so I poured it straight in. As you can see, with Cedar 25 as your main, as a big ingredient here, it hardens very quickly, as you can see. I mean, the, the glass is still very hot, like hard for me to even hold, and it's already hardening up here, as you see. Um, um, I've seen some videos online where they refrigerate or freeze this right now, and I've tried both methods, and i got to say I don't like either. Um, what I'll do is I'll just leave it right out here, leave it out for a good two hours or so, and uh, allow it to cool itself down. Um, check back in with you guys later and let, let you know how it goes, let you see what it looks like then. Hey guys, it's been about two hours, uh, and this is the final product right here. Pretty nice, pretty translucent looking. Uh, I'm just going to show you how thick it is. It's nice, very nice and hard. Just like the other brands out there, if you can see that, but it's very nice, very nice pomade. And it's nice and cold to the touch, so you know it chilled enough, so you know it cooled enough. Uh, and this will keep your hair all day long. Very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hope you guys were able to make this. Uh, please like this video. Subscribe, comment, and share it. Thank you for watching. Look how sticky it is. Even my fingers are sticking together. It's great. I love this stuff. Alright, thanks for watching.